There were so many questions on how to get my book. You can get my book 10 Best Tales of Korea from Amazon.com or your country's Amazon. If it's not in your country's Amazon, you can get it from Amazon.com. Link in the description. Hello everyone, this is Korean Onni who makes learning Korean fun and easy. Welcome to my channel. And in today's video, as you read from the title, I'm going to share you some tips on how to improve listening, reading, and speaking of Korean fast. All right, let's get started. In learning a language, repetition is a key. It doesn't happen in a day. It doesn't happen like you study for seven hours, hours yeah. today, and then the next day you're going to be fluent. Learning a language is more like working out. You do it constantly, even if it's a small amount of time every day. You do it and do it and do it and do it, and then slowly you improve. And when you are doing something every day, repetition really helps you a lot. I learned English through movies, English movies, English animations, English Disney channels, dramas. What I did was I picked one video and I watched that all the time. I had, I printed out scripts of the video and I pretended I was the actor or the actress and I acted in the acting tone, reading the English and, I, and then I listened to it. I listened to it watching the video. I listened to it without the subtitles. I listened to it just downloading it in my mp3. I listened to it when I was reading it at the same time I was read um, I was reading the script and I listened to it lit and ultimately when I listened to it so many times I could just say it from say it from my mouth even not with even without listening or even without reading or even needing any type of script I could just say it out loud because it just stuck in my head and that really helped me it even allowed me to not even having to memorize any grammar rules or study some vocabularies of course I need to study vocabulary but some vocabulary even without the time of memorizing it it just stuck in my head and how you use some grammar how you use some particles, how you pronounce some words, how the intonation goes, everything. It just stuck in my head by memorizing the entire script or entire dialogue, entire everything. So that helps a lot and that is actually one of the reasons why I made this book because I wanted to provide you a material that you can read, that you can listen, that you can practice listening, reading, writing, speaking and everything. And I'm going to share you some tips on how to use that book to ultimately use use it in the way I used some of the mater materials I had when I was learning English. So let's get started. Basically first, I always started with listening. So I already uploaded the file of me reading the chapter one of this book. So what you do is you can download or you can, I know it's illegal to download and I wouldn't, I, I don't want to ask you to download my videos because that way then I wouldn't have any view, get any views. But if you can download, maybe even downloading can help because you can just keep repeat and repeat and repeat on listening. I recommend you listening through my YouTube channel, but um, I can't stop you from downloading it. So listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, listen to it. And then listen to it and then follow me along, follow me along, follow me along, follow me along. Listen to it, follow me along. Listen to it while I am speaking. I mean, I mean, mean speak, say it out loud while you are listening to me. Say it out loud while you are listening to me. Say it out loud while you are listening to me. Do it over and do it over, do it over, do it over. Memorize the words, memorize the words, memorize the sentences. Try to write down the sentences in your notebook. Try to mimic writing down. If that's too hard for you, memorize the words next page. Words and phrases, words and phrases. Memorize them, write them, write them, write them, repeat, 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 write them. When you're, when you're used to the words, listen to it. Listen to my script, listen to my dialogue, listen to it, listen to it. Then you will be able to catch the words that you memorize because you memorize the words, you listen to the script, now you notice the words. You notice the words, you notice the words. Later, you notice the words, not only the words, but you also notice some 
other things like particles you notice the ending words you notice the pronunciation you notice some rules you notice 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 then you memorize you know what i'm going to say even before i say something you know what i'm going to say even before i say something you know what i'm going to say even before you say something you memorize you memorize you memorize you know what i'm going to say you are so used to the script you are so used to this korean script you know the rules even though you don't know the rules you kind of know, you kind of get what I'm going to say. You kind of get the rule of Korean. And that's how you do it. So why don't we practice that in this video? Uh, I'm going to do chapter one, part one, because that's what I did until now. I'm going to read it. You just try to follow me along. Let's do it. 옛날 옛적에 엄마 청개구리와 아들 청개구리가 살았어요. 아들 청개구리는 엄마 말을 언제나 거꾸로 하는 말썽꾸러기 청개구리였답니다. 엄마가 앉으라고 하면 서고, 서라고 하면 앉았어요. 엄마가 가라고 하면 오고, 오라고 하면 갔지요. 엄마가 말했어요. 아들아, 청개구리는 이렇게 우는 거란다. 개굴 개굴, 개굴 개굴. 그러자 아들 청개구리는 거꾸로 울었어요. 굴게 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 If this was too difficult for you, if this pace is too fast and if I read it in such big chunks so it is difficult for you to follow along then you can just basically press the pause button so you can do like 옛날 옛적에 엄마 청개구리와 아들 청개구리가 살았어요. So you can do it in your own pace. Isn't that the good thing about the internet and the YouTube? You can, you can pause me, basically. This is not a live session. I mean, uh, it can be premiered and then it is saved. So you can watch it over and over and over and over. It's like you watch Harry Potter, then Hermione use, uses her clock to go back in time and she can watch the video over and over. You can basically do that through YouTube. So you, just use it, use the platform. And actually like, I, I honestly think buying this book is not even, not even expensive for the cost of getting the material plus getting all the free lectures for me. I don't even make that much money out of making videos from YouTube, so I'm not I'm not saying get my book, but I think it's not a not a bad deal to get the material plus all the break breakdowns and all the, you know, expl explanations and the study materials that I provide on my channel for free. So guys, you get the point of my video, repetition. Repetition is the key for improving every level of any foreign language. And I recommend these stories because I wrote them in a way that even from elementary school, elementary school, elementary level Korean to advanced level Korean can follow up, can follow up 
to advanced advanced career learners it will be even easier to memorize everything so fast and for advanced learners i recommend you to just like have everything in your head and intro level korean you can also get started by listening to it over and over. i know that it will help you in some point of your learning korean journey oh and one another tip what i did was i would draw circles on the book like if i'm going to listen to it 10 times and i'm going to draw like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten circles okay i will do 10 10 listening to korean on me and reading reading it together then i do that and then color it or exit do whatever you like and do like 10 times I know it's just a little thing, but I did it that way and that kind of helped motivate me to do more and oh yes, I did it. I can have the sense of achievement. So I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching Dong Dong Squad and thank you so much for sending me your reviews through, through your Instagram. It really makes me so happy that actually people from all over the world are getting my book and also watching my videos. You are so dedicated and I am so proud of you. 저는 정말 자랑스러워요. 너무 자랑스러워. 아, 저는 정말 Dong Dong Squad 정말 자랑스러워요. 자랑스러워요 means I'm proud of you. 안녕, 사랑해, 빠이! <gasps>